Here's a uh, at-home example of what I want to do with the students when we start to study um, electronics, optics, and waves kind of all at the same time in a project uh, that I put together and got a grant for um, for um, uh, audio through a laser. Um, but uh, most audio through laser projects are not amplified, so you can't plug them into your phone and like the kids want to do. So the kids want to plug them into the phone, they want to play their own music, uh, but without an amplification system, they just can't get the output uh, needed in the laser. Uh, it's very dim. So uh, found a uh, really great um, LM386 uh, simple um, amplifier board online through eBay, and um, that uh, wired this up. So the output goes to a uh, laser diode right there and mounted on a tripod. The input, you have a 9 volt input and then the audio input right here is running over to my computer output which again is just the same as your phone output. It's not amplified. So right now a Rush song is playing from Pandora and uh, once I get out of the way uh, you'll see how I have it rigged up. Um, I've got several mirrors which the kids will have to position and uh, take measurements. Um, law of reflection, we might possibly pass it through some lenses, do some uh, refraction. And then over here it hits a uh, solar cell that's not very visible. Um, and there's a small amplifier speaker right there from Radio Shack. They're little mini amps. So I'll get out of the way. And we can begin to hear the music. It's not very clear, but here's the... Uh, the laser, as I put my hand through it, it blocks the signal, so it's shooting right over here to this first mirror here, going over to the second mirror, and then being bounced over to this mirror, and then finally back to the, the uh, tiny solar cell that is uh, rigged up to this little uh, amplifier from Radio Shack. So not very clear, but um, a fun project nonetheless, uh, and should be uh, interesting to see what the uh, kids come up with.